did you apply for F1 visa with a community college and got refused just a few seconds into your questioning and was issued a 214B which simply states that you do not have enough reason to come study here in the US without any further explanation? Or are you planning or wanting to come study here in the US by taking the cheapest route which is community college but then you've heard rumors or people talking about a high F1 visa refusal for community college and now you don't know what to do then you are in the right place because in today's video I'll be providing you with the top three reasons why there's high F1 visa refusal and what you can do to increase your chances of getting the visa with the help of ex US visa consulate so without further ado let's get into it the first reason why there's high F1 visa refusal is because community colleges are not prestigious or are not very competitive enough when you apply for them you know the the prestige of the of the school that they're going to that you know we we when we were on the inside you know we say hey yeah you can go to a four-year university you can go to a community college you can get an associate's degree they're all perfectly valid uh, programs of study which is true however they aren't viewed with the same amount of credibility i think that as a visa officer sometimes the students intent to study at that school if it wasn't a well-known school or if the student didn't have um, a well-known or a very clear education history sometimes it brought doubts on the students true intent to study and that resulted in a, a 214b if you've been accepted into harvard to use you know the maybe the most prestigious example you're most likely going to get your visa approved without any type of doubts they may they may question you just because they're interested in what you're doing but they have no doubts that you're a bona fide student that's pretty true that's true and yeah that's true that's true but if you're going to a two-year program at a community college or even you know let's say an english language program the reason why those aren't viewed as positively is because you don't have to present such high academic credentials to get accepted into those programs. Uh, Two-year associate's degree programs, usually they don't have any test scores that are required, the applications are not that rigorous, and many of them have a 100% acceptance rate. So that's why, you know, somebody might go in and say, oh, I've been accepted into, let's say, Princeton, and they just get approved so easily, and somebody else who might be working just as hard, except they're going to a university that's not as well known or that has a higher acceptance rate and asked a lot of questions. Um, you know, the visa officer obviously has a lot of doubts and then might refuse their visa. Like they mentioned, you know, if you apply, you're definitely going to get in. There's less requirements, you know, less competition, you know, less things to do. You simply just apply and within a span of three to uh, or one month, mostly you can get acceptance letter. As compared to Ivy League schools like Harvard, MIT, Yale, Princeton, you know, all the big colleges which require you having a plan, having a high GPA, having a good essay, you know, having a compelling story. You know, it, there's so much that goes into those schools to get accepted. Plus, they have a really, really low acceptance rate. So when you compare it to community college, you know, you don't really stand a chance. There's still hope. What? And this hope is based on the second reason I'm going to talk about, which is not preparing or telling your story. Before we move on, I just want to say thank you very much for all of your support and subscribing to the channel. We just hit 10K, which is massive, and I totally appreciate you all for that. I will be giving out two uh, $10 gift card. I'll be picking a random from my future videos. So if you want to qualify for this gift card, you must be a subscriber. So stay tuned for that. But let's get back into the video. And the second point, like I mentioned, is not preparing or not being ready to tell your story. I'd say for us, the, the biggest reason would be a lack of preparation for the student course. And you know, it goes off of what Claire was saying, but if you show up at my window and two weeks ago, you decided that you're gonna go learn English in the United States, then it's almost impossible for me to differentiate you from somebody who two weeks ago decided they want to immigrate to the United States and I'm gonna use the student visa to do that. Past behavior is the greatest predictor of future behavior, right? So if you can show that what you've been doing up until this point, the point of your interview is what a bona fide student is doing, you know, studying hard, getting good grades, graduating, that shows them that that's probably what you're going to continue to do in the future. You know, every every post has a, has a, a ratio of students that are getting issued and getting refused. There's no quota. <clears throat> Many people ask me if there's a quota. There's no quota like, oh, you have to refuse 20%. So if you hit a certain number in the day, 
then you've just got to refuse the rest of them in order to hit your quota of refusals. That is not the case. I want to make sure everyone's very clear. But if you go in and you don't give full answers, if you give very short, uninformative answers, you're basically leaving it to chance. Okay, you show up, you give them your passport, you give them your I-20, they see the school you're going to, the program you're, you're getting into, what the tuition is, the source of the funds as reported on the I-20. They can see all that there. So when they ask these questions like, okay, what's your purpose of travel to the US? And you just say, study. You've given them no new information. Okay, well, where are you going to study? Wisconsin. Great, I also can get that information. Okay, what are you going to study? Accounting. These answers, do nothing to enlighten the officer, right? And the test is to make the visa officer trust you. They don't have a, a list of criteria where they have to check off, um, you know, okay, are, are they studying a good major or a bad major? That, no, a good school or a bad school? No. What it is is do they trust that you're going to do what you say you're going to do? And the way to get them to trust you is to tell them your story. So you've got to fill in the, the gaps for them so that they know, okay, I understand who this person is, what they've been doing with their life, what their plans are, right? So a much better answer to a question like, okay, so what's your purpose of travel to the US is what I like to call a full answer, not a long answer. Um, well, I've gotten um, a partial scholarship to go to University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. I'm interested in studying engineering. I'm not sure what type of engineering yet, so I'm undecided, but I'm definitely going to be taking all of the engineering uh, preliminary courses. Aside from the scholarship, my father is an economist um, with the city government and my mother owns a small e-commerce company in my hometown. Right? These, all of a sudden, you're bringing your story to life. They see who you are as a person. Preparation is everything when it comes to applying for a visa. You must be ready to tell your story or give them a good explanation on why you want to come study in the U.S. like they mentioned. Remember that the consulates are attending to a lot of people and they don't have a lot of time to spend on just one person. Their supervisors are on their neck and they do not have a lot of time to waste. So it's up to you, you know, to have a concrete and precise answers to give to them. You must be willing to tell your story right away when they ask you the question. Make sure you're convincing them in the first few seconds. Don't let them come back with a second question. Just keep going, keep going, but don't make it too long enough that it's gonna get annoying. Get out of here. By doing this, even though your school is not prestigious or have a very competitive application, you definitely start a higher chance of being given the visa. I'm very confident in this information because you know one of uh, the subscribers applied this to their interview and they actually got a visa. They reached out to me thanking me that, hey, they follow what I told them and they got a visa. The last but not the least is confidence. I know applying for a visa can be very intimidating. It's very scary. Wow, okay. It's like you're putting all this work to prepare, you know, and this is the only thing standing between you and your dream to come into study in the US. So I always encourage my friends, you know, and everybody I know to be very confident. When you get there, you know, chest out. Just say, hey, how are you doing? Greet them, you know, ask them how's your day going. If it's a lady, you know, you're a guy, compliment what they're wearing, their outfit, they're looking good. If you're a girl, you see the guy nicely dressed, hey, hey, I like your attire. But just say something nice to them, be yourself. It kind of like easy out the tension in the room a little bit, you know, and it makes them a lot more friendlier to you. I mean, visa consulates are not too scary, you know, but just the process is just intimidating. I would thank you for the West so sweet. So it's something where you can form that connection. And I think it's uh, it's very important to approach the interview with the right mindset where you're not being grilled, you're not being interrogated by a police officer or a judge. Americans feel more comfortable engaging with people as peers, as equals, right? And so if the visa officer is speaking to you and they feel like this is someone who I could have gone to university with, right? I could have been sitting in class right with this person you know, taking calculus, you know, at engineering school, then they're going to feel very comfortable that they understand, oh yeah, this person's definitely a student. In, in, in some other cultures, having this, this type of attitude where you're like looking up at the authority figure and asking them to grace you with, you know, with the chance to go to America is, while that may be what your goal is, expressing it that way is not going to instill confidence in the visa officer. The visa officer is going to is going to if you if you treat if you treat yourself like you're below them the visa officer will feel that 
and that doesn't give them the confidence to issue the visa. You're going to university in America, they went to university in America, you guys are basically peers, you're equals, right? And so approach it that way. Obviously, it's a it's a serious it's a serious interaction, but treat it like you know you're 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 meeting with classmates with new classmates at school or uh, at at work you're meeting with a new colleague, right? They're your peer in a professional setting that you're speaking to as an equal. I'm sure if you do this, it's definitely going to help your case. These are the top three reasons why there's a high visa refusal. So I'm sure we gave you enough information to help you stand a higher chance of getting your visa when you apply. Yes, you did, Brett! This is your life, and I will encourage you to put in a thousand percent to this process so you can get a visa. After this video, if you have the faith, you know, you really want to come pursue your dream, and you are looking for cheaper community colleges, I didn't make videos talking about the six cheapest community college here in the US, you know, that you can look up to. I'll put the description down below to the video, and you can go watch that. Uh, if you're new on here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification so you'll be the first to know when I post my next video. I want to say thank you very much. Peace out. Searching for my lost home Mira, tell me what you know I'm losing some more